Humphrey's First Christmas. Beloved, most beauteous and exalted king of all should be my name. Instead, they call me Humphrey. This I could bear if the worst thing of all had not happened. My dearest possession, my glorious carpet blanket has been lost along the trail. Now I am never warm and I suffer terribly. That is why I have set into motion a plan to replace my greatest of all treasures. I carefully nudge my nose inside the caravan master's tent. This is followed closely by the chattering of my teeth, thereby letting the master know that I am most enormously cold. Success! He has not pushed me out, and I remain hopeful that a new blanket will soon be mine. Three rich caravans have joined us, and there has been talk of kings. Yet these kings bring me no joy, for they have tied three huge chests to my bare back. They are so heavy, I am sure each must be filled with rocks. They don't look all that big, do they? <laughs> the other camels are wearing the finest of blankets. They are all comfortable and warm. Not one of them thinks about me, their cousin, in pain and misery because of the loss of my most precious carpet blanket. I cry out in sorrow. I weep. Today I continue my plan to regain my treasured blanket. I add loud sniffling to the chattering of teeth and squeeze my entire body inside my master's tent. As I do so, out rolls my master, for the tent is exactly camel sized. It is as I planned. As the master chases me away, he tosses me a new blanket. I have success. Once more, I am covered with splendor and comfort. I am filled with delight. If it were not for the heavy chests I am forced to carry, I would be almost happy. We have followed one star for many long nights. Now our caravan enters the town of Bethlehem. Its streets and ends are crowded with travelers. My master gives no thought to my tired feet and rumbling belly. I am forced to move on. At last, we reach the end of our journey, but I am confused. There is no great palace, no rich oasis, no palms heavy with fruit. I see only a lowly stable with a family inside. The three kings rejoice and rush forward to bow before the young woman who cradles a baby. Finally, the chests are taken from my back and placed before this tiny child. As each box is opened, I see no stones, only gold, frankincense, and myrrh. In this land, I have walked past many children, but never before have I felt the need to walk toward one. Now, I kneel before this baby shivering in a manger. Watching him gladdens me more than sweet water, fresh hay, or even my wondrous new blanket. I look into the baby's eyes and I am overwhelmed by love. I pull the treasure from my back and lay my gift carefully upon this child. He smiles and my nose and whiskers tingle with joy. I am happy to my toes and even without my blanket, I feel warm.
beloved, most beauteous and exalted king of all should be his name. Instead, they call him Jesus. <laughs>